you know, I'll, I'll just start it. Um, just, you know, obviously you're just thrilled for Mike McGurl. Uh, a, a week ago, uh, we played Kansas and he just was devastated. Uh, you know, he, he, you know, you, you work your way in your career to get opportunities to play top level teams and, and you play Kansas here in the Sunflower Shootout and he just did, he didn't play very well and he knew it. Um, you know, now to come back, back to back games and, you know, be a big difference maker. I, I couldn't be more happy for him and proud of him. Uh, he, he's, I, I hope this isn't truly his senior day, but um, it, it's obviously going to be one he's going to remember. The last thing I told the guys today after shoot around was that I want you guys to be the lead off on SportsCenter. And, um, you know, I, if Mike isn't, he's got to be, they got to be one of the first stories. So they, uh, our defense has been unbelievable. Three games in a row, we've held teams in the 50s. That's given us a chance. And we're almost at the same point as we were at TCU. Down five, about five minutes left. And in that huddle, I just told them to look at me. I said, hey, just all it takes is, is a, a score and two stops, and we can get back into this thing. And dang, we, they only scored what one field goal down the stretch. Um, Mike with the big threes. And then to get the ball in bounce, uh, pretty amazing. Uh, you, you got one freshman throwing it to another freshman, and you got to get it in four times. Then Nigel makes those two free throws. Dejuan makes them. And, you, you, you know, and we did a great job on defense to give us a chance down the stretch. I thought Davion was, was exceptional. Uh, 13 and eight plus 15, I think overall in the game when he was in there. And then, uh, you know, days one, uh, he, uh, I'll be honest, on Sunday, Tone came in and said he didn't, his, his foot was messed up. Rudy's hands messed up. Carlton's knee was messed up. Dejuan couldn't even get a shoe on. We didn't even know if we'd have enough, uh, enough players, but got to give Dejuan some credit. 11 and 10, double-double. Uh, Nigel, not his best scoring night, but nine assists. And then, and makes those two big free throws. And then Selton, uh, I mean, he's, he's grabbed that niche. Uh, I mean, he, I know Reef scored, but man, he made it tough on him the whole time. Uh, thanks, Coach. Uh, first question to Tim Gerald. Coach, this has been such a difficult season uh, for you and the guys. Uh, does it make this one even more satisfying? Well, there's no doubt. I, I just I told them when we got back from, I think it was Oklahoma State. I said it's winding down, guys. Make value each day, value each opportunity. And I said I don't want the season to end because I I know how much we've improved. I know we, it hasn't been in a win, but we had, we've gotten better as a team. And um, for them to stick with this, and they're tired. I, I, I called Nigel last night. I said, Nigel, you, you, do you have any pop left? And he said, Coach, it's hard. And, and it, he's not the only one. Um, it's, it's a long grind season. And, and when you, you're a freshman and, and you've got to bring the ball up and you've got to make plays and you know, you've got to guard in the post. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it, they're, they're tired and they've been resilient. So it, it, it's, I'm just, I'm just thrilled for them. And, and, you know, it, to, to come, come from where we were to this, this week, this last couple games, and hopefully it's not over. And that there, I can't probably get them back down to earth for a day or so, but, um, uh, we got to get ready for West Virginia because they, we did, we were not very good here. 28 turnovers. And uh, we got a chance again to beat another top 10 team. I know it won't be easy, but I hope they come with the right focus and mindset that we've had. And we go there and, and we battle our butts off. You were so shorthanded tonight. You only had seven guys that you played, but each one of your starting five really gave you something from Selton's defense to Nigel, nine assists, and the other three guys combined for 43 and 25. Uh, is this, the kind of team effort that uh, this group has to have to pull off a game like this. Yeah, there's no doubt. And, and we, I told them, hey, we can't worry about what we don't have. Uh, we, all we can worry about is the guys that are in the jerseys and on the court. 
And 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 I think they they did that. They just hey, we got it. We got to play. And there were a couple times they you know they made a little push. I think they got it to seven. Um, if I'm right, yep. And and you know they uh, you know we didn't we didn't quit. Uh, the biggest stat I think last time they had like 26 transition points and 20 points off turnovers. And this time fast break they only have nine and points off turnovers. We end up winning that. So it, um, you know, that I just told them if they could do those two simple things, they would give themselves a chance the way we've been guarding. And, uh, you know, they, I guess they believe and they keep working. And, and then Mike had his magical, magical moment and, you know, hit something he'll remember for a long time. My final thing is how much better is your defense now than it was even in January? Oh, it's astronomical. Uh, I mean, and, you know, I give credit to the coaches. Obviously, the players had the buy-in. What we did was started showing some of our former teams and how they guarded. And just to make the guys understand, I don't think they understand what it's about. And, and it, you know, in some of it, I've said it's, it, we didn't have basic habits. We didn't have concepts. We would missed a lot of stuff. And, and now as the season's going on, they slowly but surely, they've, they've figured some things out. We're better one-on-one. Um, you know, a couple, they're so good at taking you and getting in the paint and beating you. And, and they did a few times, but we, we stayed in front of them and made it tough on them and made them earn everything. Thanks, Coach. Good win. Thank you. Next question to Kellis Robinette. Uh, Bruce, you mentioned Antonio was dealing with foot issues. What's his status? Um, I, I just, we'll just have to see, um, you know, he, he, he hurt his foot in the TCU game. Uh, he told Luke Sauber during the game, they, they put a little, I don't know, pad or retaped it, whatever. He made it through the game. The next morning he just said, this thing is really hurting. He could barely walk. Um, he just said, he didn't think he could, you know, he, he just didn't have it in, you know, where he could play. Um, you know, he's done treatment twice today. I'm sure tomorrow, um, and then we'll see if we can get him back at all on uh, uh, for Saturday. I would hope for Iowa State. It's not a severe injury, uh, but it's it's you know one that uh, you know kept him out tonight. Uh, Rudy's hand has been he hurt that before TCU in the practice, and then uh, Carlton hurt his knee in the TCU game. Uh, I you know Luke kind of pushed Carlton today to see said, hey, we might need you down those last couple games. So we'll see if, if we can get him back and, and Antonio back. And uh, on Mike, um, I, I assume in most cases, you don't love a guy just coming down and putting up threes like that. But uh, I mean, he delivered tonight. What can you say about that? What was your action when he, he was that confident with his shot? I mean, it's just, you know, the, I thought the first one was, a, you know, it was just a good shot, good execution. The second one, he started getting feeling a little bit of a heat check, and the third one was definitely a heat check. I, I thought it had no chance, and that you know. But you know, again, if you know, we keep telling the guys if you worry about the right things and you have the right attitude, the the game of basketball takes care of you. And I think Mike was rewarded for for his attitude and his commitment to this team and to the program. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Bruce, and congrats. Thank you. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Bruce, uh, you are at this point now 9-0 and at home against Oklahoma in, in your time here at K-State. Is there, is there a common thread there, anything you can put your finger on, or just, just happenstance? You know, I, I, I told Wyatt and Stan, I thought, I think Lon should be coach of the year in the league. Uh, he's done an unbelievable job. Um, you know, one thing we've been hurt by all year is other guys. And the other guys did not hurt us they, the last few games. So Harkless has been really, really good. Gibson's been really good. Um, you know, and they didn't really hurt us. Uh, and the guys coming off the bench didn't get much production. So, um, you know, I, so Lon's done a great job with them. I don't know what it is. Um, you know, maybe it's just matchups, how we guard. There's certain, you know, there's guys, when I've come through the business, there's guys I, I, I you know, we've struggled beating. And then there's other people we beat, and it's like, how the heck can we beat them, but we can't beat them? And, you know, it just uh, – Lon's been a, a special case stater. 
Uh, he still gives back. He still comes back. It was great they honored Coach Hartman's uh, wife's passing, Pat. Today, especially with Lon here, especially with the uniforms, it couldn't be more appropriate. And maybe, maybe Pat was helping Mike get a couple of those shots down for us to help us get the win. Before Mike's threes there at the end, you guys had struggled from beyond the arc. Did you feel like it was a game where you were getting pretty open looks and they just weren't falling again? Yeah, I thought, you know, we had some wide open ones. Um, you know, I kept talking to the refs. We're not getting to the free throw line. It was, you know, whatever, 10 to 3. And they said, hey, get to the paint. Get to, get to the lane. And, um, you know, we, we probably lost our way a little bit there. Davion had been so good. But part of it is how they guarded. You know, they, they don't foul. And they also, they really pack it in. And, you know, we, we had some good basketball plays, actions, where we made right plays. We just, we just didn't make the shots. And then, obviously, the last, last three, last three were, were really special. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, after you guys uh, went up 38-31, you guys kind of went on one of those long scoring droughts, and then Oklahoma ended up taking a 44-40 a lead. Was that, was that something that you were, I guess, at, at all worried about, or did you feel like after the way you guys played down the stretch against TC, you're like, hey, these guys have some confidence now? Well, you know, I, I obviously I was worried. You know, they we were we were a little bit in fouls. Uh, they were in the bonus, then double bonus. Uh, you know, it didn't seem like we had any answers to stop them or to score. Um, you know, they've won a lot of close games, and you know that you got to give our defense credit because they only had the one field goal where we had a we didn't switch at the end. Um, but we just did a great job of staying in front of them, talking being in the right place and rebounding. You win the battle of the boards, second chance points. Uh, you know, a lot of lot of positive stats that we were losing, not by little numbers, we were losing by big numbers early. So, you know, we went small and we still won the boards. Um, but I, you know, I did, like I said before, I, the one huddle, I just said, guys, it's don't, we can't panic. It's only two possessions. We get a couple stops and a couple stores. You know, we're winning the game. And and guess what happened? That's what happened. So, um, a good, you know, again, our guys, the character, the resilience, all those things you talk about, uh, they definitely had it. Bruce, if like someone told you for the game that, that Reeves would score 25, would you still have felt good about your chances of getting this upset? Um, no, probably not, to be honest. But he had to take 18 shots to get there. Mm -hmm. So, and it's like I said before, we, and I thought Selton did a really good job on him. But he's so smart. He knows how to play. But we stopped him down the stretch when he's made game winners for a lot of, in a lot of games. Um, but, you know, as I said, the other guys who were – the first game, if you look, Williams might have had double digits. Arkless had uh, 13 rebounds and maybe eight points. And uh, uh, the big fella had his career day. So, that, you know, these are – you know, we did not um, – we didn't let those other guys do it. And that that's that's probably the big key. That and taking care of the ball, we kept them out of transition. And the last thing to, for, for me, Bruce, you know, I asked Dejuan about it because he was he scored on a play where, where Brad went down. He said that Davion was in there celebrating. So is he, is he fine? That was just like one play he just got a little banged up. Yeah, he, we actually put him back in and just took him out right away because uh, they we decided uh, we were, when they put Manick in, uh, we wanted to be able to switch and not give up the three. Um, yeah, he was fine. He just he came that the one knee he's and the, he's always he's had some issues with all year, and I think he just hit it wrong and it kind of gave out a little bit. It scared him, uh, but uh, I'm I'm pretty sure he's fine. I, I he seemed bouncing around. We'll see. We thought Antonio was fine after the last game. Hopefully, we don't lose another one. All right. Thanks so much, Bruce. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next question to Michael Goins. Bruce, it appears your guys are getting more comfortable looking for the secondary transition scores and opportunities. How do you see that? Yeah, I thought we messed up a couple of those where there's three guys back. Mike threw the one, one, one away. Days one was running back. Nigel went too far. There was too much traffic. We keep telling them, let the defense make the space, you know, mistakes. And when you got that – four on three or five on four, 
Just space the court, move the ball. Don't force the action. And, and we've done it all year. I hope we're a little better. Um, you know, we got a couple, we found a couple actions. We thought we got them on some curls early. Uh, we got some different ball screen actions that worked. Um, so it, it, they're making some strides. Uh, there's no doubt. I, I would not say we're perfect by any means, but uh, we've definitely made some strides. And with their, their switch and everything except the post, what did you like about the way you guys counteracted that? Well, we wanted to get uh, – one, we, we keep talking about – we talk about all year because a lot of the teams in our league do switch. We got to play off the five, and then let the five then get into a pull stuff. Whether you get curls or you, you know, drop offs, those type of things. So they're starting to understand that a little more. And then who's the cutters and who isn't? Um, and then who's the screeners and the slashers? Uh, you know, and play who can play off of it. We we thought if we got it moving, we could get some slashing action. And Dejuan got a few. We got in there. We we made some nice kicks. We just didn't make the shots, but, um, uh, you know, we've made strides. We're way better, you know, and I'm just happy. Like I said, they've been rewarded for sticking with it, you know, believing and, and continue to, to trust the, the process and the system. And now they're, they're getting rewarded for it. So I just hope they, you know, again, we got to come back. We got to get, I didn't even say anything about West Virginia, but, um, you know, you got another big one Saturday that you got to get ready for. Thanks, Bruce. Congrats on the win. Yeah, thank you. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach, you might have said it earlier in your uh, your beginning remarks, but Dejuan Gordon, how's his soreness level at this time? Um, you know, it's it'll be bad tomorrow. Um, he Sunday he couldn't even put a shoe on. Uh, you know, and it's. It's just, it's maybe not the, where the actual injury happened, but now he's probably put a lot of stress on the other parts of his foot. So we just got to hope, you know, that, you know, that he's fine. Again, I, Davion, you hope he's okay. You hope he, um, day one's okay. We do have a day off. We'll, we'll practice, um, you know, do most of our prep Thursday because uh, we got to get on a plane on Friday. We'll have an early kind of more shoot around than anything on Friday. And hopefully we can, you know, be a lot more competitive than we were the first time against them. And I know you have a couple more games, obviously, before the Big 12 tournament. But, I mean, beating a team like this, number seven team in the country, one of the best teams in the country, it has to give you some hope. I mean, the last chance you have to make the tournament is the Big 12 tournament. So maybe there's magic that could happen? Well, you know, right now we got to worry about West Virginia. Keep getting better. Keep believing in the process and the, the system. And then you got Iowa State now on that Saturday. Um, and then we'll probably have TCU again. So um, I, I think at least, I don't know if it's locked in or not, but I think it is. So, you, you, you know, hey, just worry about the next game. That's all we can do and get ready. Obviously, you come out of that 8-9 and and you got to play. I believe you got to play one. So Baylor, you know, we've we've had our struggles against them, but they had their struggles tonight. So we'll we'll see what happens. With right now, just enjoy, be happy for them. I sent them all emojis today, smiling faces, big hearts. That's all I care about. I just I want them to be enjoy it um, and make the most of it. So you know, appreciate the opportunity. My little quote on the board was. They, this is this day will once it goes you cannot you cannot replay it and you have your you have a choice what are you going to do with it are you going to do good or are you going to waste a day and they surely didn't waste a day so the, and and things worked out for us so proud of them i'm proud that they appreciated the opportunity and made the most of it thank you coach great win thank you uh just one note before i i let everybody go um that was Coach Weber's 10th career top 10 win at K-State, which ties him with Fred uh, or Tex Winter for the most by a K-State head coach. That's during his time at K-State. So uh, he has 27 career top 25 wins now at K-State.